back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is how can we delete a specific element in an array? If you are following this series, you will know in the last episode I showed you how to delete an element at a specific index. Today we are learning how to delete a specific element in an array. This is question number 30 of the series. Let's get started. Before we jump into the coding, I'll request you to please check out the ebook for JavaScript coding snippets that I've authored. These coding snippets will help you become dev better developer as well as will help you prepare for your any front-end developer interview role. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Alright, so the question today we are looking at is how can we delete a specific element in an array? So for this, we will make use of spread operator as well as we'll have to filter the values based on a condition. So for that, we will require array filter method. Those are the two basic things that we'll need to delete any element at in a, from a given array. Let's see that now in action. Let's get started. Right, I'll give an array. <coughs> Now, a lot of times uh, this array would be given to you by the uh, interviewer or sometimes they will just ask you to create any array of your choice. So just go ahead and create a simple array. If you have an option, just play with numbers. That's the uh, fastest way you would get. Uh, again, it's your choice. There is no differentiation as to why something should be used. Now I'll say delete at delete. Um, the element right or I can not delete at I'll say to delete because we need to delete an element in a particular array so I'm going to say what I'm going to delete is I'm going to delete the last element or let me take a something here let's say we want to delete the element 3 from this numbered array so for that the simple log the simplest logic that you can do is const array equal to now I'll say original dot. Now this is where a uh, filter would come. So you will use filter and then you would just filter through the values and just d check if the values match. So here I'm going to say if filter is equal to item dot. Now see here the what we need to do is if this particular item is not equal to right and what to compare with to delete. I think that should do the trick. So here we are doing, <coughs> we are filtering and returning an array if that is not equal to to delete. That means it will return you all the other values. So simplest way, I think. So just with this particular one filter apply, you should be able to delete that particular element. Now let's test the logic. All right, so one, two, four, five. So three is gone right now similarly if you just change the value and say I want to delete value 2 from my array you can still do that and you see 1 3 4 5 is the expected output now this is how you get a new array because we are here we are just saying filter the values based on a condition what is the condition the condition is item value should not be equal to the one that we are trying to match right if it's not matching put it into the new array and that's how you get the new array minus the element you don't want it pretty simple straightforward use case and trust me these are the questions they are going to ask you and in fact not only asking these are something that you require on a day-to-day -day basis when you work logical uh, programming in your day-to-day -day life as well thank you so much for joining in this episode i look forward uh, to, for you to joining me in the next episode as well don't forget to get your ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions, write to me at surya.arati at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. Like, share, comment on the videos. Thank you.